a quarter of companies say that they're just reacting what the employees want, which is sort of the typical consumerization driver we see. This is what our employees want. This is the device our employees want to use, so we have to sort of just cater to them. And there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, the only thing is it's reactive, and it's so, sort of showing a lack of strategy, which is not a place you want to be in if you're a CIO for, a, for your company. A CIO's role is to be on the forefront of strategy, using IT for strategic purposes in driving the transformation of your company, and by just giving in to consumer needs is not really a clear way of showing your management that you are really driving the use of IT and you're spearheading how it can be used in the most imaginative ways and the most productive ways in your company. But still, we do have quite a few saying, okay, almost 50% saying, this is something that we're doing to increase productivity. probably a pill you all know. It's obviously from a company called Pfizer. For those who don't know what this is, it's the little blue pill. It's Viagra. Um, probably everybody knows what that Viagra is today because of the popular culture that's sort of spun up around it. But the important thing to remember about Viagra, and the reason I have it here, is that this is an erectile dysfunction drug, but it wasn't developed as such. Depending on who you ask, it was either something that was a uh, uh, pr developed to promote flow to the heart for angina sufferers. That's the official version that Pfizer wants to tell you at least because it sounds great. It's something that will benefit humanity. Uh, I have it from inside sources that it was actually developed as a cure for hair loss. Slightly less life-saving, but uh, anyway, as they started developing and testing it, they actually found out that, hey, how long? Uh, this actually works pretty well for erectile dysfunction. And of course, it's not being sold as a hair loss remedy. Uh, somebody outside just mentioned to me that apparently it works for jet lag, uh, <laughs> which is interesting. Uh, but the idea being that this is something that was developed for something completely different. Yet the application we see today, and a very important application and groundbreaking in terms of revenue, is for something completely different. And the same thing applies to IT. And you can even see these are a few uh, Imagines the reinventions of what you can use Viagra for. You can see those in your printouts later. One was a light switch. Anyway, the idea being, of course, that if you can't see a reason for using some of these technologies, perhaps it's because you're not being imaginative enough. And perhaps it's because you're not having the right people look at what you can do with these things or play around what you can do with some of these technologies. A lot of these technologies that may seem hyped today may be extremely re relevant for you as a company tomorrow because somebody comes up with a usage case that actually suddenly makes sense to you, just as it did with the iPhone in the enterprise, just as it did with this angina heart flow or hair loss drug for erectile dysfunctions and on the bottom line of...